So it looks like I may have found some old chaga on this birch. But you're not supposed to, well as far as I remember, uh, you shouldn't pick uh, chaga off of a dead tree. Um, I think the medicinal qualities are lost when it's dead. But yeah, that certainly, certainly looks like old chaga to me. Basically, yeah, that's what it looks like underneath. Old dried up chaga, but uh, yeah, like I said, as far as I know, it's best to leave it when it's on a dead tree. It's still cool to find some. property is like a deer farm. It's not a deer farm though. There's just so many deer on this property that it's like, it is like a deer farm. It's crazy. Like, I don't want to like be too obvious that I'm recording everything, but like it's just nuts. There's so many deer in the background there that I'm not even capturing on camera behind the trees. It's quite ridiculous, to be honest. Look at these deer, now they're getting skittish. Oh, so many of them. Look at them all. It's crazy. Like there's so many that I'm not even capturing on camera here. White tail. White tail deer. <laughs> so I just saw a whole bunch of white tails run off in this forest here. And it is non stop droppings like I wish I found this spot sooner I'm sure that I would have to hike in quite a bit just to find some sheds because maybe it's been picked through I know some of this area has been logged and surveyed but there's got to be a whole bunch of fresh sheds in here somewhere even old ones further out further in I definitely want to come back here at some point. Like, it's littered. The, fl the forest floor is littered with droppings, deer droppings. You know, so this is quite amazing. This is crown land. So, you know, I'm not trespassing. Um, but yeah, it's... You know, it's crazy. I wish I had more time. I got maybe an hour of daylight left. So I don't expect to really find much of anything. But look at this. Like, it's just piled on top of, it, like, itself. Of dro Like, this path is made of droppings. I, I can't even believe it. Well, I'm going to give it a, a little bit, you know, try to find something, but 
I'm pretty sure this first little section here has probably been picked through quite a bit. But here we go. I was just trying to capture some, oh there's, you can see their tails once in a while, there they go. There's a bunch of deer there. There they go, you can see their tails kind of run off, like flags. Yeah, it's just, I would say it's kind of overpopulated by whitetail in this area, I mean, I've yet to see a mule deer here. And the daylight is is going away quick, so, you know, I'm just kind of making my way back to my truck along this ridge. And, uh, yeah, again, I don't, I don't think I'm going to find anything. Um, I'd like to have more confidence just because there is so much sign in here. Um, but just that I know... It takes a while uh, of searching before you find antlers. You really gotta, especially if it's been walked through by other people. So you really gotta put in your time. And I just don't have enough time today. I got off work late, but I'm pretty happy that I found this spot. It's pretty cool. Um, if I'm back in the area, then I will definitely uh, come back in here and explore some more so I'll just keep walking